each of the following events uh, measure the pictures one to four like engagement moving house having a baby retirement graduation and wedding mm -hmm. okay mm. Я не помню у тебя graduation. A graduation это на uh, образование. Ага. То есть получение образования, да. Ага, окей. <coughs> так. Ну, значит, graduation. Picture number three. Ага, нем. Да. Так. Having a baby. There. Picture number two. Mm -hmm. Так. Wedding, picture number four, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, picture number one is moving house. Yeah, right. Okay, and uh, uh, which of these six things do you think uh, is the most important in your life? All of that. Yeah, all of them, but maybe some of them is more or less, or or they all are uh, the same, uh, like in the degree of importance. In degree of importance, for me now it's all the same graduation okay i understand oh let's um, let's continue and next we have uh task number two it's a listening task 2a so i really need to listen and match the people to the events and uh, try to explain how each person feels after that. Не то. Окей, good. Uh, вот оно. Let's start. Поехали. Unit 2. While there's life, there's hope. Exercise 2A, page 20. Marta. We moved house a week ago, and now I'm miles away from all my friends. Mum says I'll make new ones when I start my new school, but that won't be for ages because it's still the summer holidays. I don't like not having anyone to play with. I've got my computer and all my toys in my new room. But I've had enough of being all by myself all the time. Steve. Oh, it's no use. I've been buying all the newspapers every day and going through the job sections. But I still haven't had any luck. I've sent off dozens of application letters, but I just get rejected every time. I did get one interview but they didn't call me back afterwards. I'm starting to lose my self-confidence as well. What with being made redundant when the factory closed and having to claim unemployment benefit. I'm afraid I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. Laura. I 
couldn't wait until I finished my exams. I thought it would be the best feeling ever. You know, having plenty of time to relax, getting a job and earning some money for the first time. It sounds brilliant, doesn't it? The thing is, though, now that I've actually left school, I've got no idea what I want to do. I've been reading about different careers, but none of them really appeal to me. I'm getting tired of doing nothing because my friends are either at university or working, so I'll have to think of something soon. Tony. Most people think that old people have an easy life. They don't have to work, they get a pension from the state and they have time to take up all kinds of hobbies. Well, let me tell you that the truth is rather different. I've worked all my life since I was 16 years old and I really enjoyed it. Now that I've retired, I don't know what to do with myself. I miss all my old workmates, I miss the daily routine. Now that I'm not working, I feel that there's a big hole in my life. The pension isn't that great either. So I've had to change my lifestyle and get by on much less money than before. Don't be in such a hurry to retire, that's what I say. Bill and Terry. Nothing prepares you for being a new parent. It doesn't matter how many books you read or how many experienced mums and dads you might talk to, you will never be ready. Having a baby in our lives has made a huge difference. We rarely go out now, we never get a good night's sleep anymore, and we certainly never have a lie-in on Sunday mornings anymore, but we just don't care. The joy that our tiny baby has brought us is greater than we could ever have imagined. Okay, okay. Yeah, Martha Moon House uh, still still uh, uh, losing your job, hmm. losing his job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Laura, uh, leaving school. Laura. Laura. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Tony. Uh, Tony, retirement. Yeah. And Bill and Terry is uh, having a baby. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, so uh, now, uh, can you say how they uh, how they feel about these events? Mm. I can say it about some of them. Not mm -hmm. all. Uh, okay. I can, I can say it about Steve. He is uh, worried. Oops. Mm -hmm. uh, very worried about it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay. Laura. Laura, yeah. Laura, Laura. Uh, something like um, happy mm -hmm. or excited. Yeah. And Bill and Terry. Uh, they are very, very happy about having a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and even the problems they have now are not actually problems for them. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Uh, good, so now uh, let's move next and... Okay, and uh, let's talk about some of... Uh, events from your life that uh, make uh, uh, some important events from your life uh, that made you 
feel sad or happy or scared or maybe thrilled or something else, or something else like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thrilled. So it's the get real. Uh, thrilled, uh, uh, thrilled, да. uh, thrilled, то есть это как бы так э, в восторге, но только не в восторге, это есть какое-то другое слово, забыл, как это на русском будет. Короче, это очень, очень близкое слово по значению к восторге, ну вот оно вылетело из моей головы. Ну, по идее, в восторге, ну да, так и есть, других слов то и нету. Ага. Ну, то есть это что-то вроде синоним excited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, sad. Sad. Uh -huh. Okay, about you and no. About no sad event in my life. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. If if it's very painful for you, it's uh, you don't have to talk about it. Yeah. Something sad for me. The that I've uh, took. I've been going to foreign country for the first time mm -hmm. and not for uh, rest. And mm -hmm. that was so sad, but but uh, Uh, when I uh, returned to Ukraine, I was happy about it. Oh. So you were sad that you had to move to another country, yeah? Uh, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Okay. And it was without parents. Uh, okay, so yeah, so you moved there alone, yeah? Something like that. Okay, um, so probably if you if you had moved there with your parents, I uh, you wouldn't have felt uh, that sad, yeah? Right. How do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, would be happy. Yeah, you would have been happy, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so now let's talk about the event that made you feel happy. The same event, but... I'm returning to Ukraine. <laughs> ah, understand, okay, okay. Yeah, you're returning to your parents, yeah. Yeah, I'm returning to my... Uh, to my fatherland. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, yeah. they went... That makes me uh, no. The event that great scared me. Yeah, yeah. That makes you. It makes you feel scared. Oh. Mm hmm. I don't remember um, that. But yeah. Uh, but I. But I actually do. I actually can't say what event made you feel really scared. And uh, I, I, I guess this event is uh, 
the beginning uh, be the beginning of the war yeah 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 it was i guess uh a very scary event for our for our ukrainian yeah okay uh, which event made you feel thrilled? Mm. Aha, thrilled, and там ще є excited. Значит, thrilled не не дуже так синоним. Что можно еще ведь значить? Thrilled, thrilled, это больше как потрясён. Потрясен. Ой. Ой. Maybe it's when I saw the at my own eyes, a real ship. Uh, when you saw a ship uh, when I saw, with your yeah. real life? Yeah, when I saw a real mm -hmm. ship in, in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that was maybe really cool. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Um, and and the event that made you feel ex ex excited. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe uh, the event that made you feel worried. Oh, worried. Oh, uh -huh. worried. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm hmm okay maybe when uh, when I was eight and uh, mm -hmm. it was very uh, it was yeah it was it was thunder Aha, yeah. Where, uh, very strong thunder. That, oh, yeah. Uh, strange, but that was where that was where I worried. Scary. Yeah, it's very scary. Yeah. Very scary, and I was very worried. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, actually, I remember the same thing. Mm, but it was like uh, in 2018, maybe. Yeah, or in 2019, I don't remember. <coughs> uh, but yeah, it was also a thunder, and it was a very strong thunder. And it uh, like woke me up, and I thought, so I thought it was uh, the end of the world. Yeah. So I understand your emotions at that time, because I felt something like this too. Okay, maybe something that made you feel disappointed. Uh huh, disappointed. Um... Yeah. 
Хорошо, disappointed. Okay. It was uh, three or four years ago. And... Uh, uh -huh. uh, it was with my old PC. Uh, and something on that. Um, uh, just eating the uh, memory. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Ну, то есть сжирала память. Ну, сжирала оперативную память. Ну, я вот только недавно самого такая же ситуация была. Okay, so um, it, the UN that made you feel pleased. Mm. Okay, pleased. Uh, pleased, то есть uh, как um, ну, pleased, то есть как рад, то есть um, то есть события, которые тебя обрадовало. Что я обрадовал? Окей, it was in Sweden, and uh, mm -hmm. on uh, one of the Lopez's, yeah, one, on one Lopez, mm -hmm. I bought a, a PC monitor. For uh, where very uh, less, very small money. Ah, uh, for very little money. Very little money. No, but no, that little money. Small, обычно никогда не говорят small. Ты не про что-то вот на что маленького размера. No, for money, the little. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Uh, so. And finally, the last one, the event that made you feel irritated. Irritated. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, можно сказать, что это? Это ну, я не знаю, что такое irritated. А, ah, irritated, то есть раздраженный. Ага. Окей. Окей. Maybe I forgot it. Uh, I don't remember it. Maybe. Нема таких мене воспоминаний. Okay, no, it's actually good. Maybe when, maybe when you uh lost um maybe when you lost uh a game uh lost a match in league of legends uh due to your friend or your teammate maybe one of these events made you feel irritated mm, maybe uh, i don't know mm. no definitely i'm sure Uh, such Maybe. story was uh, some time ago. Okay, so now let's do the task number three. So task number three is uh, 
a list of problems that uh, Americans consider to be uh, the most serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, like top 10 stressful uh, uh, situations, stressful events in your life. And uh, the, f the first, uh, like uh, the most stressful uh, event for, uh, for Americans is like uh, divorce. Divorce? As you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, seventy three percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, death in the family. Mm -hmm. Sixty three percent are personal personal injury or illness. Fifty three percent are. <laughs> 50% marriage uh -huh. mm -hmm. so 45% retirement 79 uh -huh. bring, bringing up children uh -huh. mm -hmm. 36 changing jobs 26 uh, starting leaving school 23 uh -huh. trouble at work, 20 moving house. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now uh, let's think uh, which are the three most stressful life events for you. The events that were or will will be mm -hmm. no, 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 no. R. not R. Sure, not will be but R. maybe maybe will be you can also say about the future events yeah uh, which can also be more uh, which can also be more stressful for you okay yeah Three most stressful. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. The most stressful will be uh, passing final exams in school mm -hmm. and MT. Mm -hmm. uh, to... The second one, uh, uh, starting uh, tak, it's a, a jak wus analysis. Um, we should have changed exactly. No, 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And we uh, yeah. maybe marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It can be like this. Yes, and I can actually imagine that it's it will be something something really like that. Okay, and can you give reasons why exactly uh, these things are the most stressful? Why do you think so? <laughs> okay, about passing final exams. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Because uh, it's very stressful to pass in them, and uh, uh, you can pass it uh, once a year. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you mean uh, ZNO yeah. or NMT? Uh, yeah, the ZNO never put Там будет и КНМТ. Why? Уже. Ну да. Ну, если война э, не закончится в следующем году, то да, да будет НМТ. Если закончится, то будет уже ЗНО. Окей. Okay. Окей, okay, understand. Understand. Uh, so what about the uh, what about marriage and uh... start a university? Yeah, I'm starting university. Okay, start in university. It related with passing exams. Exams. Uh huh. Yeah. When I pass exams bad I could get if I yeah if if <laughs> yeah I uh, will have very big problem to start the university mm -hmm. understand yeah okay yeah yeah that's that's actually right yeah okay hey and okay, about and, marriage uh, mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> uh, just okay. this just the third decision for for, for this exercise mm -hmm. yeah okay okay uh, so, uh, let's also, so, okay, I guess, uh, that's, that's enough for this, uh, for this thing. Now let's talk about, yeah, we can also read the article, a dream come true, but it's very, very big. And I guess uh, it's better, it will be better for you to give it as a home task because, it will take very much time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, yeah. It's like a... It's like a... It's like a... No, it's like a... Yeah, he's really a... He's really a... He's really a... Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so uh, now let's move next uh, to the page 22 in PDF 24, but in book it's 22. Okay, so uh, so let's look at the uh, let's look uh, at the pictures and at these people and uh, let's try to say who who has got for example wrinkles who has got freckles spiky hair dimples a center party uh, crooked teeth a beard and so on okay Okay. Uh, I don't know what means wrinkles. I don't I don't know what wrinkles means. Yeah. I don't know what wrinkles means. Okay, wrinkles uh wrinkles at the Visnushki. Вроде фреклс веснушки, не? Ой, не, 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 да, 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 фреклс веснушки, ринкс эти, эти морщины, морщины. Мистер Харрис и Билл. Гарри ринкс. 
Fuck, freckles. Oh, that took course here. Oh, okay, Roger Peter. Hey, P Peter got wrinkles with freckles. Uh huh. Oh, spiky hair. Uh, Tony got spiky hair. Okay, Tony's got spiky hair. Yeah. Tony's got yeah. Dark mm -hmm. dimples. What does it mean? Dimples, то есть ямочки. Ага. Ямочки. Как правило, да, то есть как правило на щеках. А. Понял. То. Yeah, Jeans got dimples. Yeah, Jean, yeah. Uh, Jean has got dimples, and Mr. Harris has got them too. Это морщины. Не-не-не, ямочка тоже то на левой щеке. Окей. A center part in. Что это такое? А центр партинг, если как бы это так сказать, это вот такая вот штуковина. В русском языке нет такого вообще понятия, даже и в украинском тоже. Ну, короче, это вот когда у тебя волосы, то есть вот так вот. И вот а тут посередине вот такая вот штуковина. А, пробор. Есть, да. Пробор центральный. Ну да. Про пробор, да, если я правильно услышал. Ну. Да. Что есть потом? Окей. Окей, ну, в общем, да. В общем, на английском называется center parking. Ага. Окей, Джинс got a center parking. Окей, а что about crooked teeth? Crooked teeth? Ага. Угу. Peter got crooked teeth. Ага. Ну хотя непонятно там. Может и все мои. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, a bird. Beard. 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 Yeah. Beard. Yeah, beard. Так. Bill got beard. Ага. Так, bushy eyebrows. Bushy. Очень густые брови. Ага. Bill got bushy eyebrows. Ага. Глазес. Ага. Тонис гад глазес. Ах, стрейт хэйр. Стрейт. Ну, прям мэ волос. Ага. Окей, Джинс гад а стрейт хэйр. Yeah, right. Okay. What about a white forehead? White forehead. The posh rocky lob. No. It's hard to say something. Uh, I I don't know. Yeah, I understand. So hard. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, crazy hair. Ah, crazy. 
фрейзі це в'ющийся, в'ющийся, і кудрявий. Нолан. Ну, може, це Капітер. Maybe, but yeah. not exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, sideburns. Mm -hmm. Sideburns. Shotse. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, sideburns, to jest, jak by to powiedzieć, to jest Bakinbardy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Harris got back in bar or uh, the sideburns. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. and mustache. And, um, mm -hmm. Mustache. Uh -huh. Mustache. Bill's got mustache. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, finally appointed team. The last Point. one. Pointed chin. Jeans got a pointed chin. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, good. Good. Uh, like this. Okay. Uh, so uh next we have such thing as b so uh we can yeah uh we can make uh yeah we we can uh, continue this table for example uh in his uh so uh you you can use these words to describe yourself Like uh -huh. I am in my early teens, or I am in my late teens. I am tall and slim, and so on. Yeah, uh, for yeah. So would something about height and build, about hair, face, and so on. Yeah. So a uh, little be your uh, second homework, okay. second home task. Okay. Um, now let's do task uh, task two. So here we have uh, uh, five uh, very famous celebrities. Yeah, here are here are actors and singers. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Sting is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he's a singer and all the other people are actors. So let's listen to their uh, their jobs. Uh, or that they had had before they became so famous. Okay. Exercise to be used in this. Yeah, yeah. I found it. Okay, and and then let's say what job it was. So I hope uh, I turned on the right. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Uh, this one, yeah, this one, yeah. Now everything's right. Okay, so let's let's. Exercise 2B, page 22. Speaker A. Sting is one of the most popular solo artists in the world and has had huge success with his latest world tour. Sting, or to use his real name, Gordon Sumner, has always loved guitar music, although he was trained as a pianist from a young age. He did not become a professional musician straight away, though. He had jobs as a ditch digger 
and as an English teacher before he left his hometown of Newcastle and moved to London to pursue his dream. Mm -hmm. Speaker B. Many of Hollywood's greatest stars seem to have come from poor backgrounds, only to make it big on the silver screen. Harrison Ford's life story is just one of these rags to riches tales. In his early career, Harrison had very little money and even had to teach himself carpentry in order to find work. These days, however, he is one of Hollywood's biggest names with millions of dollars in the bank and a never ending supply of leading roles. Speaker C. <laughs> I just love Michelle Pfeiffer. I think she's a fantastic actress, and I've seen all her films. In my opinion, she just gets better and better. It must be really hard to become a successful film star. You have to be very ambitious. Michelle Pfeiffer was a checkout clerk in her local supermarket before she went to Hollywood to seek her fortune, so she can't have had much acting experience. Some people are just naturally talented, though, aren't they? Speaker D. There aren't many rock stars who could manage to stay in the charts for four decades, but Rod Stewart is not just any rock star. He began his musical career in the early 60s and has been a member of several different bands, including The Faces and Shotgun Express. Rod says that music is his first love, but football is his second. In fact, he once played as an apprentice professional for Brentford Football Club. Speaker E. Who's my favourite actor? Well, I'd have to say John Malkovich. He's been working in the film industry for almost 20 years, and he has still got that special quality that makes a brilliant actor. He can take on any role and really make it work, if you know what I mean. He's had a very interesting life as well. Did you know that he used to work as a forest firefighter in a national park in Canada? It's true. He also had jobs as a dishwasher and bus driver before he became famous. OK, like this. Okay, okay, okay. I can manage oh, that. That's right. Hey, okay. English teacher. Sting. E. Uh huh. Yeah. English. The forest fighter. The. The. John Malkovich. Uh huh. Okay, it's a uh, carpenter. Uh, uh, Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, she called clerk uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. And uh, Rod Stewart, footballer. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then no. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, some uh, stages in life. It's uh, it's actually. Uh, task 3A, exercise 3A. Mm -hmm. So, we can also listen to it. And uh, it's it will be the last task for today. Okay. Okay, so, let's begin. Exercise 3A. 
page 22. So, what do you think of life in England, Amy? Oh, I don't think it's all that different from life in America, really. Oh? How's that? Well, people tend to do the same things at the same stages in their lives. We have the same milestones, if you know what I mean. Mm, I'm not sure I do. Give me an example. Okay, well, children here in Britain start elementary school at the age of five, don't they? Yes, that's right. Well, it's the same in the U.S. Oh, I see. But then things are a little different after that, aren't they? Yes, I suppose so. In America, children go to junior high school between the ages of 12 and 14. And you don't have junior high schools here, do you? Not usually, no. Children here go straight from primary or elementary school to secondary school. Yes, but they leave school at the same age as children in the U.S. Really? Yes. In America, you can leave school when you are 16, or you can wait until you graduate at 18. If you leave school at 16, you can get a job right away. But if you leave at 18, you can either get a job or you can go to college. Uh, one minute. Uh, so for how long do people go to college in the U.S.? Well, they usually stay in college for four years, which means that they leave when they are 22. But they can also go to junior college, which means that they can leave when they are 20. I see. So the education systems are similar in both countries? Yes, but it's not only that. People in the U.S. and in Britain tend to leave home, get married, and have children at around the same ages, too. Do they? Yes. People usually leave home at 18 in both countries, because that's when they move away to go to college. That makes sense. So how old are people in the States when they get married, then? The average age for men is about 27, but women are usually a little bit younger than that around 25, so that's an average age of about 26. Women tend to have their first child at about 27 on average. Hmm, that's interesting. I think things are pretty similar here. They are. I've studied this a lot, you know. I didn't realize you were so interested in social issues. What other things have you found out? Well, I can tell you that people in America usually buy their first house when they are in their mid-30s, at about 35. Really? I would have thought they'd be in their 20s. No, most people want to wait before buying property these days, so they rent houses or apartments for a few years first. And what about retirement? How old are people when they stop working? Well, you can stop working when you are 55, but most people don't retire until they are 65 or older. You can get Social Security benefits from the age of 62, though. I can't believe you know so much about all this. Well, it's just something I find interesting. I like to find out about how people live around the world and compare life in different countries. And which country would you most like to live in? Oh, I would have to visit them all before I could decide on something like that. Okay, and finally, uh, let's do this task and finish this lesson. Okay. So, at what age? At what at what age uh, do these um, events happen? Okay, start elementary school. Uh, five mm -hmm. years. You know, five years old. Yeah. Uh, go to college, university. Uh, eighteen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Leave home. Uh, eighteen two. Mm -hmm. Get married. Uh, for mm -hmm. women twenty five. For men twenty seven. Uh, twenty six. Uh -huh. uh, have first child uh, twenty seven. Mm -hmm. uh, buy a house. A middle thirties, thirty five. Yeah. And retire. Not retire. 
No, I'm going to... Uh, 64. Yeah, no, вообще там было... Ну, вообще, то есть можно было уже начиная с 55, но, как правило, 65. многие там... На no, 62. Ну, почти. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough for today. Думаю, на сегодня уже можно закончить. Собственно, your homework. Now let's talk about your homework. Mm -hmm. So... Так. Окей. Okay. So, um, let's begin. So, it's uh, first student's book. Uh, you too. Thanks, and see you next Sunday. Goodbye. Goodbye.